In this video, you will learn how to partition C drive on Windows 11 operating system. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to come down and click on the file explorer. Once we are here now, right click on this PC and then click on show more options. And once you are in here, we are going to click on manage. So this will open up a new window. From here under the storage, let's click on disk management. All right, so once we are in here, you can see that I have one disk on my computer and it's about one TB or one terabyte of hard disk. Now I want to partition the C drive, which is Windows SSD C drive, and it has 952 gigabytes of space. I would like to um, partition 100 gigabytes from here what i would do is i would right click on it and then i would click on shrink volume it will take a couple of seconds to open up the shrink window and here we can choose how much we want to shrink our hard drive i would like to change this to 100 gigabytes so instead of four i will put one and then the rest i will put um, five zeros one two three four five and once I do that I will click on shrink and once it's done it will show us unallocated space right now if I go back to the file explorer and click on this PC I only see one hard drive in here now in order for me to bring that hard drive back in here what I would do is I would right click on this unallocated area and then I will click on new simple volume. So I'll click next and leave this as a default and then click next again. And here I can assign a letter for my drive. Instead of D, I can choose B or A. So let's say I want to assign a E letter in here. So I'll click E and then i will click on next here it will give me other options so the file type it should be in tfs um, allocated unit size should be default and then in here where it says volume label i can change that so any name that i want to change it to i can do it in here so i'll say my my data and once i do that i will click on next after that let's click on finish and there we go as you can see in here my drive just showed up so if I go back to the file explorer here I can see that I have a new drive by the name of my data and I can double click on it and open it up now here I don't have any data inside that's why it shows the folder is empty so that's how you can partition C drive and make uh, another drive inside your computer. But what if something goes wrong and I would like to extend the C drive again? So how do we do that? So let's go back to um, computer management. First thing we need to do is we are going to delete the E drive or my data drive. And once we delete that, then we will come back to the C drive and then we are going to extend the C drive. So first thing first, let's just right click on E drive and then click on delete volume. Just one thing you should remember is that whenever you delete a drive, it will delete all data inside the drive. So if you think you have important stuff inside the drive, you need to back it up before deleting the drive. So we want to delete this um, drive now. So we will click on delete volume and it will give us this message uh, deleting this volume will erase all data on it back up any data you want to keep before deleting do you want to continue so yes we want to continue and we'll click on yes and here you will see that um, the this drive is unallocated so once we have that we will come back to the c drive and then we are going to click we are going to right click on it and then we will click on extend volume it will open up this extend volume wizard uh, 
let's click on next and here it will show as the available uh, drive uh, available space that we can extend our C drive to from here we can uh, decrease the size but we are happy with the default and therefore let's click on next so once we do that we will click on finish so once we finish that as you can see in here we are back 952 gigabytes i hope this video was helpful uh, please let me know in the comment box if you have any questions uh, till next video it's goodbye